Hey everyone, I don't know whether you can see my face in here. Hey, uh, <coughs> it's uh, it's October. I've been doing a lot of videos this October uh, because uh, it's time to start bringing stuff in, <laughs> as you probably heard several times so far. Anyway, uh, I'm going to let this big uh, elephant ear, the Thailand giant, I'm going to get let it get hit by frost, uh, and then uh, I will bring in the the root base and grow it over winter like that. Um, but we do, as you can see back here, as you know, we have a baby growing here. So I don't want it to get hit by frost because I don't think it would be able to survive it. Because it doesn't have any, uh, any tuber or, uh, or corm or whatever you want to call it that these bigger guys have for food storage. So I'm going to take this in before it gets uh, hit by frost. And this is the one that might end up growing through... Um, next year for me. I'll see how this one does. It might be a little bit too big, but maybe I can give it to a friend with a bigger yard. Uh, we'll see how that goes in the spring. So, but right now I've got a pot full of uh, just a, uh, a water retentive soil mix. This one is the uh, uh, miracle Grow uh, Moisture... Uh, moisture something. <laughs> So, generally speaking, I don't use this stuff for most of my plants because it really does retain so much moisture. But uh, for things like these elephant ears or um, bananas or something, it, they, they really, it really works well. You don't have to water every five minutes. I can get in under this leaf. Um, there's really not any root development yet on this uh, little guy. I'm just going to snip off its little umbilical cord here. Let's get a little close up here. As you can see, maybe, this is where it was attached to the plant. There's little nubbins here. So I think that it will survive. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to plunk it down here in the, in the soil and just pat it down in there. Just like that. So I'll keep you guys posted on this to see whether it grows. I'm a little, uh, little worried that uh, there was no, not enough root growth on it. Again, I wanted to leave it on there until it started growing on its own in the soil, but unfortunately frost comes quickly and uh, it might not have that much time. So it's coming into the warmth. It will like it better in there because it's, it's definitely a lot warmer at night. I'm gonna put it in a, in a full sun location and let it grow and do what it does. So anyway, um, you could probably do this with any of your uh, elephant ears, uh, any of your alocasias, colocasias, um, and uh, yeah. Anyway, join me on my Facebook page um, for more photos and, and conversations and whatnot, plants and things. And uh, happy growing, everyone. I'll keep you posted on this little guy. Hopefully it doesn't die. Fingers crossed.